Hockey Night at Link Center, Swinawa Cats entertain the Telford Tigers. I'm Mark Beggs, and we're being to the live commentary tonight for the Link Center along with the Swinawa Cats media team. Telford Tigers, Swinawa Cats just come off of the qualifying round and the Autumn Cup. Swinawa Cats came in on top, and they've been in the informed team at the moment. Can't find a better player to work beside alongside Jason Thorberstorm. But again, fasten your seatbelts, arms in. This should be a fantastic game. It's back in the Declan Bomber. Declan Bomber switches the play over to Tyler Blues. No call on the icing. Good switch play. Jonathan Weaver slows the play right down. He just has endless amount of time on the puck. Players know he's got that one pass capability to just just split a four check really quickly with one pass. Hang Mitchell King on the puck. Turns that puck over. Good transition from the Wildcats. Back to Malazinski. Malazinski goes wide. He's got Pogazdi going hard to the net. Knuckleball on the net. Pogazdi still followed that play. That's where he's got to be on that line. He's got to add the sandpaper to this unit. Back into Malazinski. Malazinski back into Plews. Plews drifts it through. Tyler Plews, you know, puts in every single game. Shift in, shift out. Does a lot of the dirty work. He's the bouncer on that line. Gets it through to the net. Again, comes back to the point. It's got to be that new warrior helmet he's wearing tonight. But 16.58 on the clock. Comes back to Tyler Plews. Doesn't need to be any spectacular. Just gets to the net. But look at the look on his eyes. He knows there's traffic. With this little hesitation, when it comes back to Tyler Plews right now, he looks up, sees space. He knows exactly where he wants to put it. He's got Aaron Nell in front of the net between the hash marks, plays it out front, back through to Malazinski, Malazinski now, Nell tees it up, gets deflected on the way in. Back through to Malazinski, back to Bebris, nice play. Everybody's gonna be thinking Bebris has got that puck, but as soon as Bebris picks up that play, he knows he's got Nell down on the dots, and Aaron Nell, bang, in the back of the net. So the Wildcats up by two, but that's that high hockey IQ. No panic, you can see when Bebris has this puck, when it rotates it through, Nell again, he just drifts off, nobody picks him up. Just backs himself off a little bit, one time shot. Goaltender's got to commit to Bebris. Gives himself no option on that play, but again, turnover into Taylor. Taylor on the play, goes down from Danny Rose. Back into Taylor, back into Rose. He's back into Silverthorne. Silverthorne down and deep. Back through to Mitchell King. Taylor coming through the middle. Back into Silverthorne. Sees that open space. Again, you can see Jason Silverthorne. Bit of Thierry Henry on that place. He knows that Morris just drifted off to his blocker side. You can see where he's going to come right now. So you can see where Silverthorne right now. You can see the space as he comes wide. You can see bluff side. Bit of positioning. Renny Mario want that one back. But again, Jason Silverthorne on the fly on the rush. Not too many goaltenders are going to slow this man down. He comes through, and he's even got options if he wants to switch to play. But that turnover, as the season goes on, they're just going to get better and better as a unit. Puck comes outside. Tough is going to have to regroup. Back into Sevek. Sevek drops it down, puts it in his hand, comes back into Poos. Poos across into Smith. Back across into Bebris. Bebris has got Sevek if he wants to use him. Switches the play. Trying to cut Dave by surprise. Back into King. Mitchell King goes through the middle. Uses that speed. Comes back in front. Tyler Plews saves a certain goal there. Across into Luca. Luca turns the puck over the blue line. Sevek breaks free. McKenny slows him right down. McKenzie slows him down. Back through to Luca. And again, recent pickup from Telford. He's across to McKenzie. Good work from Nethersall. This is what I want the to see the Wildcats do is stand up at that blue line. Nice touch to McKenzie. Nice goal over to Jonathan Weaver. He switches that play, but Scott McKenzie just works the play down low. But again, much like Aaron Nell, Jonathan Weaver just comes out of nowhere. And you can see the play develop. Scott McKenzie starts it right there, comes across. Plays it down low, and again, nice read from the switch play, but you can see how the play develop right now. The Swindon Wildcats defend just switch off right now. Taylor on that line, switched up, did a little line change, caught down and deep. Back into Plews, Plews stands his man up. 
Goes across into Pogazdi. Pogazdi switched the play back over to Jones. Jones just got Malazinski going wide. Back over to Jones. Jones switched the play. Nice play. Thought that had to be in, but again, Brad Day uses the net play. So just looking for that deflection play in the way of the corner. Doesn't need to shoot. Just keep it on the ice. Back into Jones. Jones under pressure from Andy McKinney. Good read from Luca. Sevic played the bounce, thought it was going to go by Luca there. Sat on his shoulder. Good close down from McKinney Telford. Bit of a high check in front of that net. This game's going to kick off a little bit now. Andy McKinney came high. Came high on Chris Jones. Going to see how he's like, but again, good response in the wall press. Chris Jones just caught that in the neck. Nethersall, Nethersall breaks free one on one. Sam Watkins felt that, he's making a line change. Pounded in the corner. Back out to Watkins, to Weaver. Weaver plays it up to the middle to Fielder. Fielder loses the puck at the blue line. Sayers gets on the shoulder, but he's closed down by Weaver. Good support play. Good support play by Weaver. Game's just a bit niggly at the moment. Both teams just finishing their checks. The second and third period's been outstanding. Picked up for Pagazdi. Pagazdi gets it deep into the corner with Malazinski. Back into Nell. Good support play from Nell to pick off the forecheck. Back across into Pagazdi. He's pinched out, taken out of play by Oliver. Puck comes back into the Swindon zone with Mitchell King on the chase. Good play from Plews. Good physical battle. Two big units out there. Back out to Mitchell King. Big rebound. Puts it away and it comes back in front. No goal. Interesting call there. I thought for sure that was got by, but waved off by Poulton. I've been an entertaining game tonight. I said both teams have said the have to work extremely hard. But again, back in overtime, Wildcats have enjoyed a lot of success in the OT. Back in the Plues, Plues again. I think he's been Swindon's best defenseman tonight, but again, collectively as a unit, they have to work hard as a unit. Then they come back into the Telford zone, Jonathan Weaver on the puck, he's gonna slow it right down. They'll press, they'll come through with Come through with Silverthorne. Silverthorne goes alone. Quick winner for Jason Silverthorne in the OT. And Jonathan Weaver walks it up the wing, plays it across into Jason Silverthorne again. He's had that chance all night long, but Telford on the OT win. Swindon Wildcats two, Telford three. And again on the OT, you can see Jonathan Weaver on cruise control comes through the middle, but Jason Silverthorne gets him behind the Swindon D, puts it away. Swin and Wildcats 2, Telford Tigers 3. Been a great game. I've been Mark Beggs. Brought to you the live stream along with the Swin and Wildcats media team. Hopefully you enjoyed the game and we'll catch you next week.